Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to Lesson 5.3.2 on di diminished sevenths. Sometimes people call them fully diminished sevenths to distinguish them from half diminished sevenths, but diminished seventh is fine all on its own. So you might think, well, we've uh, lowered three, we've lowered five, we've lowered seven, what's left to lower? One? Well, you can't really move one. So instead, what we're going to do is actually minor third plus minor third plus minor third, three different minor thirds, so you get one flea fly, and then double flat seven. Not a great syllable to use for this. Um, maybe dlev. I don't know. I'm just making things up at this point because deflev doesn't work. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, sure, whatever. Usually, when you get when you get to diminished sevenths, the scale degrees get a little wonky anyway. Um, in the immediate vicinity. So there are various ways to notate. We're going to go with fully diminished seven to go along with the half diminished seven symbol we used in the previous lesson. Diminished sevens are naturally found in minor, starting on scale degree seven. So you got minor, half diminished, major, minor, dominant, major, and then fully diminished. You'll also find in major fully diminished sevenths um, by taking your half diminished seven and then just adding a flat. So sometimes people will turn that half diminished seven into a fully diminished seven. When we talked about augmented triads, we pointed out that they evenly divide the octave into three sections because you have a major third, a major third, and another major third. So just like Augmented triads evenly divided into three sections. Diminished seventh chords evenly divided into four sections. This is all minor thirds, though. Minor third, minor third, minor third, and then another minor third brings you back to tonic. So that means that there are only three distinct diminished seventh chords. Any other diminished seventh chord is just an enharmonic spelling or an inversion. So you have a diminished seventh chord built on A that also has C, E flat, and G flat. You have one that's built on A sharp or B flat. You have one that's built on B. Then I go to build one on C, and oh wait, it's the same notes. Go to build one on C sharp. Oh wait, it's the same notes. So there are only three distinct diminished seventh chords. Fun facts. That's all for now. See you next time.